uh, there's supposed to be buses I think every half an hour, every 45 minutes but to take the bus, uh, it's not from the central bus station oh there it is, the bus is here so yeah, that's it, that's the bus to Struga good, good, okay, perfect timing Struga? Struga, yes, thank you So this is the minivan, uh, I'm sure they'll collect money at some point, uh, so I'll just wait uh, for that. And you need to get the bus right opposite this camp village, yeah that's it, that's where you need to get the bus from. Uh, it's not from the central bus station but it's a short walk, hardly two or three minute walk from the central bus station in Orkin. Okay. So I've reached Struga, it's just 8.30 in the morning and uh, I've spoken to someone here and they say I can take the bus from here but not until 11 o'clock so anyway I want to verify that information first and then if that is the case then I'll just maybe get something to eat, walk around yeah so it'll be an interesting day but yeah I decided to get some breakfast because uh, someone said in the bus stop that the bus is not until 11 so I came into this little sort of kebab place to have breakfast of course it's chicken again and uh, the young lad here says to me that there's a stop just by the church which is just two minutes from here and he says the you know, best way is to go then ask if nothing he's not sure but he also said 11 o'clock so it looks like there's a bit of a walk, but it's okay. It's okay, this is part of my life. As long as I can get there, it's good. It's my kebab getting ready there. Um, I decided to not have fries this time because it's just getting too much fries. It's just not good for me. Really, really hearty. Quite a lot of salad. It's nice and hot. So the guy at the kebab shop, he was so helpful and uh, he actually went and found out uh, about the bus. It's, at, in, it's about 10 o'clock from, uh, from the church here and uh, it's just 9 o'clock now. Or, so then I asked him about the beach. He said it's in the opposite direction, about two kilometers. So I thought, you know what, why not just come here, have a look. I've got an hour. I've eaten well. Uh, so obviously I've got some energy, some calories, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm walking towards the beach now, so let's see how I get on. By the way, the bus cost uh, 70 dinar, so that's just over one euro. It's starting to look a lot prettier now as I'm walking towards the beach, so uh, where I got off the bus was still looking a bit yeah, but now it's starting to look really, really nice. 
Yeah, because initially it was like, oh, Struga is so beautiful. So when I first got off the bus, I thought, oh, what are they talking about? But obviously, uh, my opinions changed. I've seen a burek place actually. I don't know if it's open, but burek is a very popular dish. I think I'm also reaching the beach now, almost there. Let's see. Let me show you. effort you make uh, the better the result or at least without making an effort you don't get the result because if I sat there at the bus stop and not walked around I wouldn't have seen all of this and then I would have thought oh Struga is not a nice place but luckily I'm walking around uh, and yeah it's a really nice place but of course because it's a smaller place uh, generally you find this lesser options for hotels and now it's not high tourist season but I imagine in the summer you might have to book in advance because even now on booking.com I don't find that many options for Struga so something to bear in mind we're very very close to Albania as well Tirana directions and there that's the beautiful beach wow right behind me and honestly it is so beautiful if you just want to come here and take in the nature and just find some me time this is a fantastic 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 location it was just like if you got off the bus and I took a detour went and had a burger but if you didn't do that you just get off the bus walk five minutes from where I got off from the bus and that's it you're right here uh, there's restaurants and everything but obviously at this time there's nothing and it's just pure bliss pure bliss uh, and uh, if you're the kind of person uh, like me who just likes the peace the quiet really there's no place like it just just look at the view having guys it's cold my fingers have turned red i do have gloves i need to put them on it's freezing cold it's really cold obviously it's vast open spaces no not much pollution no people so it's really really cold so if you're coming here in the winter please be well prepared snow clothing uh windproof snowproof waterproof well insulated clothing a uh, fleece wool you need it all I'm going to put on my gloves now, guys. I'll talk to you in a bit. blissful moments it was time to start going towards the church the bus and to the next leg of my journey to the bar from Sudra. it's so cute I don't think it's open but look it's so cute
Yeah, it's not open, but unfortunately it's not open. But uh, that's one thing I noticed, like most of the churches here, they're like chapels, they're small and cute and really, really cozy. And there is a vibe in there that is something, something special. And I'm just waiting for the bus now. The Orchid, there's a bus like literally every 20 minutes. My son is a so, uh, software, uh, software, software programmer. Yeah, yes, programmer. Oh, okay. And go uh, with uh, girlfriend. Okay. And stay one month. Uh, In India. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, Say beautiful country. Yeah, and yeah. And beautiful weather. It's a uh, good weather. Nice. Yes. Safe. Yes, yes. And friendly people. Yes. Very friendly. Yes. A lot of people. Say a lot of, lot of, lot of people. Yes. And uh, nice. Uh, holiday for me but uh, so that gentleman was so helpful and uh, his son was in India for a month wow he's a traveler also and uh, that's the beauty of like uh, remote working so he said he was a programmer he could work from anywhere uh, anyway so he did say uh, that the monastery is really really beautiful so that's encouraging it's a bus here let me check let me check if this is the one So it's not the one, the person that, we, uh, that I'm speaking to, he honks and says, oh, it's not the one. He's honking again. <laughs> I don't know if it's for me. This uh, man, yeah. seeing go not with devil, but one village uh, near the devil. Yeah. Okay. So basically, this gentleman is also traveling to that same area. So uh, he, uh, he said, just stay with him and go with him. So that's what I'm going to do. That's oh, the bus is finally here. Thank you so much. Thank you. So he called me because I thought it was going to be 11, but no. Uh, we are here finally. Deva. Yes, yes. and closer to the bar and then mono uh, monastery um, the language starts getting um, more and more limited so anyway uh, the first bus from Orhit to Struga cost uh, 70 dinar and from uh, Struga to Dibar was a hundred. They're quite honest, so like even though I was giving them more money, like because I didn't know, they would just take the right amount. So so far it's 170 dinar, and uh, I believe it's an hour and a half. So it's like half past ten now. So the bus didn't come at eleven. It didn't come at ten. It came at half past ten, um, and around twelve o'clock we'll uh, reach the uh, Dibar. And one of the passengers kindly told me where to get off so I can then get on another bus to Bigoski. much shorter but I just wanted to leave in like the whole experience just so you know if you think oh it's too much effort I don't want you to be put off because the journey itself is fun journey to the monastery itself from Orhid is like a mini excursion so three buses and really stunning scenery uh, some food it, it was everything like it was um, yeah it was a really good experience I really enjoyed it I reached uh, the bar now and I'm in the bus station lots and lots of mini buses here that will go uh, to various different places so I've been told I have to take the bus to Skopje and uh, the younger people can generally speak English so one of the bus drivers said he'll tell me when and uh, they'll, people are generally helpful 
by the Dibar seems like a really really beautiful village in the in the hills or oh, it looks it's a city small city actually <laughs> The village is quite close to the Albanian border and I think the majority of the population in the bar is Muslim. So I'm in the bus now and uh, I've been told that the bus um, journey from here to Kustivar uh, is just 15 minutes. So I the driver to let me know. Hopefully when the bus stop arrives I'll just ask people. Yeah, but this is a bus that's going from Dibat to Skopje, so if you get to this bus, you can go back directly to, go to uh, Skopje. Well, let's see, 15 minutes. just gets fully packed and there's no like uh, guaranteed seating or anything so you're yeah, sitting on the floor, the standing, whatever. Now. It's exactly one o'clock and finally I've reached the entrance of the monastery. Let's have a look. There we are. St. John. So we have to go uphill. Uh, it's in the middle of the national park. So if you can see there, National Park Mavrovo. So let's start going. Wow. This really looks like it's going to be a challenge, but uh, I wanted to do it. So I don't know how long this is going to be as well, but we'll keep going and then let's see. Well, because it's in the afternoon, it's not that cold. And in fact, <laughs> as I keep walking on this, <laughs> I've got some water, so, so that's going to help as well. Oh, I hope this is not too long a walk. The walk up is quite steep, quite windy. Oh, oh there's just a few people. Wow. Oh, that is just hard work. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been so <laughs> in the wild uh, by myself. I have done these things, but usually in groups. So this is uh, a bit more adventure than I'm used to, but it's really, really, really beautiful. I just asked the person there and he said it takes about 10 minutes to get there. Uh, I did see some people that look like fathers so that's promising. 5-10 minutes is doable. That's encouraging, that's all I needed to hear. Wow. I was just nervous about like how much of a walk it is but I'm feeling much better now looks like I've reached the entrance of the monastery uh, it's almost there I'm sure it'll take me another 10 minutes to get there even though it's just there have a look there and then it's all over there as well so, uh, from where they drop you off, it's really not that far. They just look really daunting. Uh, and they've got beautiful views. So on this side, some kind of waterfall. On this side, the woods and flowing streams. So, overall, spectacular views I guess you need this kind of environment to get really spiritual
the structure is all like ancient stone I don't know I just really love Three this buses type of structure. and a hike up mountain overall it was all worth it if you're thinking about it please do it like it's just fantastic of course if you're fit you have time uh, just using public transport and walking up is fine otherwise so you can drive up here plenty of people are doing that as well But let me tell you, it's not, it's not just a stroll. It's quite steep. Oh. There we are. I think. And here we are. Just made it to the entrance. Five hours later. Guys, I really hope you found this useful, and uh, it'll help you with your planning. Please do consider subscribing. Thank you.